going to go over your assignment for week three on how to place files into an InDesign document. So here's your template. You make sure that you have it open. You guys should have all downloaded the zip file. And from there, you will have this template file or the start here. If your InDesign is not up to date with 2020, open up the .idml, otherwise open up the start here document and either way you'll get this. First thing you're gonna do is open up an EPS file in Illustrator. And you do that by either dragging the EPS file down in your doc to the program, or you go to File, Open, navigate to the file and open it up. What you do not want to do is drag it into a new document. If you do that, it'll come in as a flattened file and you want to make sure you can grab the parts. So don't do that. Open the file in Illustrator. Don't drag it into an already open document. So, what we're going to do is take one of these zodiac symbols and we're going to turn it into a new EPS file. So I'm going to copy this one, then File, New, and remember copy is Command C, and then I'm going to make a new 2 by 2 document. And then I'm going to Command V and paste that into my new document. Now if it comes in too large, use your scale tool, click in the center, drag it towards the center, and then hold down Shift to constrain the proportions. Next thing you want to do is recolor this artwork. You can select the whole thing with the black direct selection arrow, and you can select a color in your swatches. You can also use your colors to move them like this if you prefer. Once you have a color that you like, you file, save as, and then you can name it, and then save it as an EPS. Make sure you know where you're saving it so that you can navigate back to it when you go into InDesign. Once you have your EPS file saved, go back to InDesign, click on this frame where the designated EPS file is supposed to go, you can go to File, Place. You can also hit Command D and then navigate to where you saved your EPS file. I put mine in EPS Illustrations. It's right there. And then you hit Open and it will come in the right size and in the place that you need it to be. That's all you do. Okay, the next step will be dropping in JPEGs into these two squares and the circle. So first thing you do is select the circle. With the black selection arrow, click on the circle frame and hit Command-D or File Place. Navigate to where your photo folder is and pick a photo. It'll come in not filling up the entire edges of the square, so next you'll want to take the white selection arrow, click on the photo. Using the Scale tool, you will click and drag out to fill that entire space. Hold down Shift to constrain the proportions. The last thing you need to do is place a photo of yourself. Again, using the black direct selection arrow, click on the box, hit Command D, and then find a photo of yourself wherever it is saved on your computer, and open it up. You'll see here this photo came in larger than how I want it to be. So again, white direct selection direct selection arrow, scale tool, and I scale it down to fill the space until I'm happy with where it's going. The white direct selection arrow moves the picture within the frame, and the black direct, direct selection, the black arrow moves the entire frame. So again, white is, will pick up the picture inside the frame, 
the black arrow will pick up the frame. The last thing you need to do is insert your text. So open up project text, copy the text that you want to drop in, And this text doesn't really matter. You can find any text off the internet. You just need to put some text in there so that you can change the color and complete your assignment. Next thing you're gonna do is copy this text, highlight the entire box like this, and use your eyedropper tool and then change the colors by selecting colors from the image that correspond to it. So let's see, I'm gonna do that and then click off, I like that nice gray color, that's good. Now, remember, if you click on the entire box with the selection arrow, what it's going to do is change the color of the box. See how it created a stroke around the box? And that's not what you wanna do. You only wanna change the color of the text. So if I hit undo, command Z, again, you're highlighting this text with the text tool, then switching to the eyedropper, and then clicking on the picture and choosing a color. And then repeat that step for each piece of text. Until you're satisfied with that. Then you can view, under extra, you can hide the frame edges and make sure that it's previewing the way you want. Make sure there's no extra strokes on your EPS file and everything's placed where it should be. Turn the guides back on. And the last thing you have to do is export this as a PDF. So make sure you file save as, so you save your document and that will save your InDesign file. And then when you're done, you're going to file export and export your PDF and name it according to the instructions. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now you should have your PDF file and this is what you upload to Canvas. And that's all, that's all you gotta do. So all you need to do is make an EPS file, drop in two JPEGs, some text and change the color. And that is how you take files from Illustrator and drop them into InDesign for layout. Now say I wanted to change this color, all I have to do is go back to Illustrator, select this, change the color, save it. And then when I go to InDesign, under my links, I click on that and I refresh it and it automatically updates for me. So that's why you use the two different programs. Okay, watch this a few times, get comfortable with the toolbars, and that's the lesson.